The behemoth's nearly dead, so I'm going to try and just torpedo it. I don't know if they have a range, though, but I'll send out two there. I can see him going, look. Come on, hit it. Ooh, 22 damage. We'll go back around. Taste of naval warfare here. Come on, swip it around. Here we go. Planes attacking me. I actually got it. That's amazing. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the kill feed. Holy crap. That was so awesome. There she goes. You know what? I'm going to try and get this one as well. Why not? See if I can push my luck. Oh, he's firing torpedoes back at me as well. Go, my pretties. Yes! Oh my god, no way did that happen! No way! That was amazing! Got the rudder! Wow! 10 out of 10, best map. Naval warfare at its best. Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm bringing you some BF1 gameplay and live commentary on one of the new maps from Turning Tides. This one is called Cape Hell. And as you can see, I am in a new vehicle. What is this you ask? Well, this is the L-Class Destroyer. And this is not a behemoth or anything. This is a large boat and I'm in the driver's seat at the moment. And you get access to an artillery strike, which you can call in. That's number one. And also a big cannon which can be reloaded. This thing is absolutely incredibly fun and satisfying to use. I think it's one of the best new additions to BF1. And unfortunately, there's only one at a time on this map, but I'm hoping that in a couple of the other Turning Tides maps that come out, the two that are out in January, that they have like a big open water base level with lots of these and torpedoes and dreadnoughts versus dreadnoughts, because that could be just very, very exciting. If you like this kind of gameplay in boats and naval warfare, then I think you'll definitely enjoy playing in this thing. There's three other seats on it as well. There's like an AA gun. There's also some secondary torpedoes that the other gunner seats get. And there's a couple of big cannons as well for the other guys. So plenty to do if you're not the driver. And I think if you've got a good team in there, you can really dominate. You've just got to watch out for the field cannons right at the back of the map because they can take you out very easily indeed. Now in the gameplay that I'm going to show you in a second, I'm using the new Elite class, which is also a fantastic new addition to the game. I think it's OP as hell. I mean, it is an Elite class, but this one in particular, it's really fast. It's got a grenade launcher. It's got an artillery strike, a double barrel shotgun, and also a spawn beacon. So if you play it carefully, you can spend the entire game alive with this thing and rack up like 50, 60 kills. Trust me, it's really, really good and fun to play as. So I hope you enjoy the footage, guys. I'll be back at the end of the video as well with a little more information about some stuff. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let's take a look at the live gameplay now. The game's just started, Conquest Assault, and I've managed to pick up the new Elite class, which is called the Infiltrator. Now, he's got a Martini Henry grenade launcher, a double barrel shotgun, and an artillery strike. So if I put that there like that, I'm hoping that that He's going to drop some bombs on people. But there's a lot of enemies here, so... Not sure how it's going to turn out right now. There's at least two or three people here right now. I mean, that, that is ridiculous. That is so much fun. Oh my god. It's actually a Martini Henry grenade launcher. my new favorite thing in the game let's we'll see if we can get to see now we've kept that reminds me of the the noob tube in battlefield 3 <laughs> Shit. i need a medic maybe i should join a squad squad we have there we go objective dust. cool get some heals maybe Although this squad doesn't have a medic in it, so that didn't work out as well as I'd anticipated. Not much splash damage on that then, is there? Go over here. 
Now there's something that's untextured there. A lot of drop on it as well. With that double barrel though. <laughs> we have taken objective oh my charge. goodness. I think I had like 20 shots with it right when I started out. Let's head on around down here. Oh, from downtown. Oh, what is doing that? I think that might be, uh, yeah, that's the destroyer. Okay, I've got to get away quick, otherwise I'm going to die here. Get in cover. If that thing is a monster, I reckon there, that might do the job. Takes ages to regen health. There we go, a couple of hits. There's one kill with the artillery. It's still going on. There's another one. A couple of enemies there. Oh yes. We have lost objective charge. Need that medic again, I think. Let's move up to D. Keep the double barrel out. Yes. I think there was another guy there. Yes. Okay, this thing is... That's our PSL. I mean, I know it's an elite class, but that is... That's just too much fun. It's almost illegal. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna die. Oh, I thought I could get the plane with it. Put down the mobile spawn beacon there. Thank you for the heals. How far does it go? Can I get it all the way down there? I'm not sure. Either way, we're still holding on to this, which is good. Let's see if we can push down to A. <laughs> I like that it's got its own unique sound as well. It doesn't sound like every other grenade launcher in the game, which is nice. And I could do the old artillery strike there. Jesus, you can... You can fire that a long way, can't you? Wow. Put a small beacon up here. I wonder if I could kill myself with it. Probably. I don't have all the answers for you guys because this is like my first time playing with the elite class and on this uh, on this new map with all the textures. So I just simply don't know how it works. Is there a guy there. Ah oh, man, I, I kind of want to go down to A, but then again I don't because the destroyer's there. Looks like we're losing C. We are losing objective Charlie. Yeah, we should go back up to C here, I think. Let's move. See what we can find. Ow, 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 ow. Nearly tied there from the plane. Horrible those things are. Oh, 7 HP. Oh, I'm just going to chill here for a bit. I can hear Morse code. Am I just constantly transmitting Morse code? Is that going to give me away though? Like if someone's near me, will they hear the Morse code going off? We have taken objective apples. Losing B. I want to see if you can get the planes with the grenade launcher. How sick would that be? I bet you can. I wouldn't be surprised if DICE would put something like that in. Losing C again. But where? Over there? Yeah. 
Goodbye. <laughs> and that's that. That's the end of their C push. That guy's getting annoyed with the planes, obviously. Oh, yes. <laughs> they really have changed this map up, haven't they? Completely different layout now. Nice big tower here as well. Might be able to get some nice oversight from here. Let's have a look what we can see. Oh, there's a, a flame for some reason. I have a dreadnought en route. I'm not started up again until I get some health. Really need some health. Oh, could have sworn that hit him. Obviously not. Yes! Prokhorov, Russia, goodbye. Did my teammates just die here? Oh, too far away, I reckon. Yeah, they've changed the slide as well. Like, you can pretty much just slide once and then that's it. Watch. He really slowed down. So if I try and slide and then slide again, An enemy dreadnought has arrived. really slows you down that. I want to go and check out the beach, but look at that bloody destroyer there. Horrible. Oh, finally. Check out that boat over there. So now they've got a destroyer and they've got a little destroyer. A little mini destroyer. Isn't that cute? That dude on the field coming there. You're doing God's work, son. So there we have it. The new Elite class is ridiculously fun to play. It's just a shame that we probably won't see him on any of the existing levels from previous DLC because just imagine what you could do with that grenade launcher on a map like Fort Bow. I can almost hear the noob tube screams from 1915. <laughs> What's also great about this map though in particular is the sniping in it. I know there's already a load of snipers in the game but if you fancy doing some long range sniping and not playing the objective at all, I'm not encouraging that but I know some people find it quite satisfying. The boat where you actually spawn here is great for getting those long range sniper headshots so maybe an idea if you fancy doing some long range shooting. So before we finish today I've got a cool little giveaway for you. DICE have given me 100 codes for the Battlefield 1 Incursions Community Environment giveaway. They've just added a new King of the Hill style push game mode on there on Sinai Desert and this is a completely remastered different version of Sinai Desert where they've moved geometry around. If you'd like one of those codes head over to my Discord discord.gg slash jackfrags and I'll be giving them out later on today. So that's all for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.